we're going to start off, we're going to give the boys a lot of aching breath. We're going to start off with Maddie. We'll put her front and center. You want to step forward? Now, last time I was here, I had a couple different styles of dancers. So I thought I would, I don't know if anyone anyone here is from last time, repeat, from the last clinic, besides Ruella. <laughs> but uh, obviously, right? But, uh, okay, great. Well, Maddie here, she's wearing a dress that comes from the Ojibwe and Cree people, uh, Oneida people. It's uh, called a jingle dress. Um, they say there's several stories out there, but there's kind of a consensus that when this dress came about, it was because a uh, grandfather, his granddaughter was real sick and almost deathly ill. So he uh, he was sleeping one night and I guess prayed about it and everything. And I guess he had a dream, I guess, some, I guess however you want to interpret that. But he was visited in his dream with this uh, vision. And this dress was present in that dream, and said, and he got the instruction that if he dressed his granddaughter in this dress, it would heal her. So this jingle dress is often called a medicine dress or a healing dress, and the cones at one time used to be made with seashells. That's what they used to use. But today, with uh, you know modern use of everything and for convenience, um, we use uh, different methods. And in this case, we use the uh, snuff can lids, like Copenhagen lids, and we roll them. So uh, if you want to hop around a little bit, just so they. It just kind of, you'll, well, you'll notice the sound. Yeah, it makes a real, yeah, it makes a real distinct sound. And uh, it's really, it's really cool to hear. So, um, anyway, this is called the Jingle Dress. It comes from, from the northern, uh, like I said, tribes, Oneida, Cree people along the Canadian border there. So, anyway, I'm going to sing a song. I'll sing two times through for you. And then, after you're done, you can go in there and warm up if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>